Hello and welcome. How are you guys? I am doing amazing. I've been doing really good for I think the last two weeks before was um I'd say a little bit challenging. Um actually no last week was really really so many things happening, so many things going on. Unbelievable. Um for those of you who don't know me, I am Julia Go. I am transformational grief and growth coach, and I can put a day to um, my the start of my transformation. I guess we all change and transform through our life, but um, my personal grief and growth journey started four years ago in February when my son Simon was born premature. And um, five days later, he died in my arms. And like I assume every other kid, um, he changed my life. He completely changed my life. Everything, um, my whole world uh, was upside down. And um, so many things have changed since then. I have done a lot of breathing i've done a lot of growing i moved countries from germany to new zealand and um, i did a lot of coaching i did a lot of healing in our work um and today <laughs> today i'm also a um, certified transformational coach so i can help other people who are on that journey from grief to growth or who are just on a journey um, of personal growth and support them in all the challenges that definitely will come up. Um, sorry to say that. Um, grief is hard and growth, man, you can have so much growth pain and it's great to have someone who went through this. And yeah, enough about that. Today I'm online. Actually, I want to talk about why COVID-19 reminds me of losing my baby so like i said a few years ago um four years ago i lost my son and um, when this covid 19 situation started i was reminded of so many things and i know that so many other people go through a similar experience and um, i wanted to share with you what similarities i see and with that after that i also wanted to share with you a few um, tips and tricks i guess tools a few ways how you can cope with what is happening at the moment and so i guess the similarities i'm seeing is that as well as with the loss that i experienced and that have um, that I share with many other women too. Um, it comes the time of like it is a shock, it is uncertainty. COVID nineteen brings the same uncertainty, similar shock to people. And well, I guess what is important or what we need to clarify is what is grief, and grief is the emotion that we experience it can be sadness it can be anger it comes with a lot of different emotions the emotions that we experience after we experience a loss and the way i see it covid 19 brought a lot of perceived loss to this world and i've seen myself in that same uncertainty in that same worry about life that i had after i lost my son so what kind of loss and i'm talking about and yes i'm talking about the obvious loss i'm talking about definitely um people dying of covid which is terrible which is incredibly sad and also always part of life but we are not only losing people that we love due to COVID and I'm really really lucky I haven't lost someone due to uh, due to COVID I'm in New Zealand we are out of um, out of 
the lockdown or we're in lockdown phase two at the moment and um, we have no new cases um, and I'm incredible, incredibly thankful to be in that position and be in that situation um, and I also know that despite that there is more loss happening here and I know that I'm not the only one experiencing that but it comes along with losing your job losing other financial securities it comes along with losing your stable life it comes along with losing your income for a few months and um, there are other losses that we go through due to COVID-19 which is sometimes like this uncertainty the change in the future we don't know what's going to happen and that reminds me so much of losing my son it reminds me so much of the time when it just happened and all all the plans all the plans we had all the plans i had they were basically gone uncertain it was certain that i would not celebrate christmas with my son okay but there was so much uncertainty around what's going to happen next though and life was upside down and we have a similar uncertainty right now and that might you know it if we all experience grief and loss differently some people have a high resilience some people are suffering a lot and that is okay like we all experience things completely different and I want to acknowledge that in case you are grieving right now because you lost your job in case you are grieving right now because you can't go on holidays in case you're grieving right now because you don't know if you're gonna lose your job you're worried about that situation that might happen you don't know what's gonna happen in your um, in the area of work that you're in like I've been in that same situation when, when COVID started. I lost my job for the time being and as um, a as, um, contractor, there is also no, not really like a substitute for that. It's completely like uncertain. My partner who um, earned 33% of his income, and we've been really grateful for that. But at the beginning, we did not even know if that's going to happen. So might have been that we're where well, we were at the beginning we were scared to live on the street um, and all of this those emotions that I went through at the beginning the anger the fear the uncertainty the um, the sadness the stress it reminded me so much of my loss and it came with so many other challenges, challenges in relationships, right? You probably can connect with that. Like both of us in my relationship, we were, we were stressed and we were on the edge. And in times where we actually would have needed each other most, um, we had trouble com communicating with each other. And um, I mean, that... I'm, I'm sure that it's the case for a lot of people, not for everyone. I know that there are some people who are amazing, um, have amazing communication, positive communication abilities, and um, maybe they grew together in that period of time. But I also know that a lot of families have, have struggled, grieving that schools are not open, the challenge that comes with that, all those things that we don't know about. And... Um, that often comes along with um, other signs that we have when we grieve, which might be things like obsessive worrying, ex obsessive thinking about it, negative thinking about everything that might come instead of like having the trust because we don't know that because oftentimes you can say that we get more trust in things that we already experienced. However, we have never experienced something like this before. I don't think we had a pandemic like that. Everything's shutting down. And um, all that negativity and worry can also affect us, our health, our sleep, 
um, it can affect the way we eat, right? Oftentimes, um, our coping mechanisms are not there yet, so we have not experienced that. So our coping mechanism, coping mechanism to feel better is eat crappy food because it makes us feel good in the first place, even if it might not afterwards. Or we start drinking, we start smoking more, we are like in the stress situation and our emotional and our physical well-being on top of that experience that we're having is also challenged through the way we act. And what I want to say here today as, um, as coach is, or what I want to invite you to, um, if you're struggling, is see this and it's easier said than done i'm completely aware of that um and um i know it is you know even challenging to hear that because i went through a period of grief what i wanted to say is see this look if you can see this period as a chance to grow and there is something, and I'm going to talk about that in another video, um, that is called post-traumatic growth. So it's not PTSD, it's PT PTSD. Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna clarify that in another video. Um, but post-traumatic growth is. A situation like this allowing us if we are ready if we want to to grow in different areas of our life to especially reflect on what we're doing do we like our job do we want to do this is it time for another job maybe not right now maybe we look into that though or we have the chance to grow in other in other areas okay we can prioritize our relationships that is a great chance right now because especially when challenges arise and that is my personal experience but also just a resilience and growth mindset every time a challenge arises you have the chance to learn from it and to grow from it so you can say oh fuck um, I said it. Oh fuck, my relationship is really struggling with this situation and we don't know how to communicate when we are stressed. We are both worried, but instead of um, being there for each other and building each other up, we're actually like putting each other down. So what can we do? If, if we have a growth mindset, we might say, um, well, that is a great chance to learn positive communication and it might not work from one day to another but if you're in the boat and if you want to learn positive communication that is an amazing chance because you have so much time to bump each other's heads and learn so much more about what you can do to um, improve your communication if you say oh i'm struggling extremely with over drinking overeating um, smoking and you're saying like I actually don't want to do that like sometimes we're in a position of like well I deserve that I want that I don't want to change that fine do whatever you want I'm not saying it is bad I'm not saying it is it's totally your thing um, if you feel like you want to change that though great opportunity um, and how can you use this period of time where everything is exaggerated, where everything is like a little bit more increased, all the things you did before, all the things you had before, there was always a glimpse of that at least. Um, but now you have the chance to really, really work on that. And if you go through this period of time and you use that as a chance to overcome overeating, overcome emotional eating, overcome over drinking, whoa, what better better opportunity to use that, huh? What if you quit smoking right now? Wow, that's cool. If you do it now, you can always do it. Like if it's if it's easy right now or if it's might not be easy. But if you manage it right now, you don't need to start smoking again ever. 
Um, I'll, I'll, I'm not smoking anymore, though I smoke on parties. So I just want to say, like, I'm not perfect. I also drink alcohol sometimes. I sometimes drink too much. Um, I just want to open up that possibility. I was just checking. 15 minutes in. Um, what I wanted to say um, also, like, I just wanted to open up the possibility that we can use this as a chance to grow. Um, you can take care of your health a little bit more, right? That's one thing that you might be able to shift. And um, I already talked about reevaluating your life. Uh, um, it is basically one thing um, that that I feel is um, has helped me after my loss and has helped me in this period is um, even if it's hard to hear it, especially from someone else, um, but it is that growth mindset that it does not feel like this situation is for me, but in all its shittiness, I can use it for myself. I can use it for me. <sighs> That's what I wanted to say, I think. That's it. And if you want to dive more into growth and if you want support, oh, one thing that I wanted to say. If this is not resonating with you, Okay, tag what you want to tag, leave the rest. And um, if you feel like you can't do that on your own, and hell, I didn't. I had so much support um, after losing my baby, and I had also support in this period of time with the coaches that surround me, um, friends that surround me. Most of them are coaches too. Anyways, um, you don't have to do this on your own. That's one thing that I wanted to say. Like, reach out to your friends. Reach out to people that you can talk to. It's okay to have challenges. I'm not saying, like, you should not be challenged by any of this. It is totally fine. It is fine to grieve. It is fine to be angry. It is okay to be sad. I'm not saying this is all... The, your emotions that you have about this, they're amazing. Feel them. That's, that, yeah, that was really important to say. I'm not saying that when I talk about this growth mindset and how you can use this, you're supposed to say, hey, yeah, I lost my job. This is amazing. I don't know where my rent is coming from. I got to grow so much. No, that's not what it is about. You can feel worry and anger and sadness. I just want to invite you to also look in the direction of what can I take from this? How can I turn this around for myself, even when I feel sad right now? How can I use this sadness for myself to learn to take care of myself in other ways than binge eating or binge drinking or other ways? Um, yeah, and if you want to learn more, uh, please like follow, subscribe wherever you're listening right now, and and check out my program, my grow program. Um, if you feel like you're ready to take the next step in growing, if you're not, <laughs> perfectly fine too. Um, but if you're interested in and grow and personal growth and want to learn how to manage those negative emotions and thoughts too yeah just just check out some other things that i'm doing um and i'm curious like drop a comment send me a message what are you struggling with the most at the moment and what potential do you see for yourself to grow? Amazing. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Light and love, guys. Bye.